right, so here he is with much fanfare, the number one lightweight contender challenging for UFC gold here tonight. Hay is in the barn. He feels like he has put in all the requisite work to realize the dream here tonight. He's been working so hard. When you watch the videos, you can see a guy that will not accept anything less than being super prepared for the biggest opportunity of his career. He has worked diligently. He has trained hard. He has brought in training partners. He's done everything. Now it's all about going out there and executing. He said he feels he's ready to do that and become the UFC champion. But it must be stated in this division with all of the contenders, oftentimes you only get one crack. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, if you want to talk about a division being the glamour division in this modern era, maybe it's lightweight, and this is the man they are all chasing, the undisputed king at 155 pounds. He's the champion of the world, the lightweight champion, a very difficult belt to capture. This is one of those titles that when you start, it seems like the journey is so long and so daunting because those champions are tremendous. This guy knew from day one that one day he would hold that championship belt. He got there and he has been defending it valiantly. He's a tremendous champion and he loves the opportunity to once again prove that he's the best. And it is interesting to look back at some of his early days in the UFC compared to this version. Night and day, we'll see how it goes for the champion here tonight. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. The athletes are ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Lightweight champion of the world, John Lord Silva! So Herb Dean, third man Great in fight. there for this one. Great. Good. All right, round one is underway. Here is the outstanding striker, the conditioned Du Ho Choi. The majority of his pro wins have come by knockout. They have come in round one. We'll see how it goes for Du Ho Choi here tonight. Well, this kickboxer is a layered striker, and look at that, he is out to prove it early. A beautiful body kick, and on the other side, the boxer has that sort of Piotr Jan high guard. Yep. Pays for it there in the midsection. He's got to bring those elbows down if he wants to defend that kick. But this is the investment, going to the body. These body kicks may not seem like they're going to pay dividends now, but they will as the fight goes on. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. Nice counter left hook to the head. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Big shots to the head. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, he has mastered this distance control tonight. Another punch lands. Oh, my goodness, these boys are going at it. Oh, good vision defensive. That was a nice combination there. I mean, right away, no feeling on process. These boys just went and started fighting. Lands a jab. Keep that left hand high. 
Big elbow there, lands. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that one landed, yep. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Whiffs on that offering. Both guys appeared to land there. It got checked. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And that left hook landed on the button. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Just over two minutes, round one. Devastated body kick lands. Lands the inside leg kick. Missed with that attempt. Nice body shot. Try to establish that jab. Oh, beautiful counter on the uppercut. Perfectly timed. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Overhand. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Straight right is there. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. 45 seconds remain in the round. Just missed on the front kick there. 30 seconds to go here. There's his jab. 20 seconds left. Nice target change and him attacking the body. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. On point with that jab today. job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. 
cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking position. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. He was able to get that one blocked. Sure. It won't take many of those. Just over three minutes to go in round two. And a miss with the right hook. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace. An uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Choi. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's popping over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighters used to see. Watch the shot to the body. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Now with the knee. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Under 30 seconds. Now he touches him with the left. 20 seconds to go round two. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Oh, single collar tie here. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. 
All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so easy to match. We're still right where we started. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Unable to connect with the right. That was a big check. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yes, an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Working out of that southpaw stance. Looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Do a work with the jab. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Another bruising shot right to the body. I wouldn't think you want to take too many more of those. No, John, you gotta you gotta defend. You got to address a tactic that has worked this many times this early in a fight. You cannot allow it to continue to build because once that momentum gets going, you will have no way of stopping. And I don't have a lot of muscle over there, so I don't think I could take too many of these if I was a fighter. Well, you need that body like mine if you want to get hit down there. You can't be you can't be too skinny. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of the stage. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Nice counter right hook there. Huge block there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Snapping off that jab. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. It's a nice jab by him there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Oh, and again! All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Immediately gets the underhook. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Now they separate. 
All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, we're going to stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Chor. Straight punch lands. Choi gets caught by the elbow. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. The Korean Superboy gets caught by that straight punch. Beautifully landed by the opposition. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous... Oh! Feels like the beginning of the end. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not head-hunting inside the octagon. I, I think he is fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show it. She's hurt again! Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You can't knock that ball and take your time. He's right for the picking. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the... Oh. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Oh, man, you gotta credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. Yeah, it's hard to watch, and, you know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with his fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach. Shows again, he got his opponent hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Oh, massive kick lands flush. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Oh, well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Choi. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Choi's in half goal. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nicely done. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. It's beautiful kick lands. But he needs to hurt the game. Under a minute to go in round four. Oh. 
did a great job setting up that high kick. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anymore. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's to a point now where it's getting a bit uncomfortable. You have a fighter who's clearly outmatched, and his corner will not save him. This is crazy. Good work, guys. Come on. Just unable to quite find that range. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Oh, a huge block there. Uh, 20 minutes in the can, stop. five to go. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. Don't be stupid. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it. Oh! Oh! Lands the kick to the body there. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Good kick. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. Oh, man, another strike gets through. You can only describe his condition as critical now. Oh. oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. And he is back up to his feet. Trying to kick the leg out. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. On the button. Oh, and that'll do it! Do Hope Joy gets the finish! Oh my goodness, what a fight!